Hey guys, this is Makai from Makai's World and this is my dad. Welcome to Makai's World. So today we're going to take an adventure down to Waterfront Park, Pineapple Park in Charleston, South Carolina. And as you're watching, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all those things, check out the description for the details of what's going on here. And all right, let's check it out. So that was Pineapple Park, Waterfront Park, Pineapple, Pineapple, Ben Park, Pineapple, Apple, Ben Park. No? No. No. Okay. The last one, that was not true. But it is Waterfront Park and Pineapple Park. And let's do a little something called, let's tell you all about it. We went there. We had a great time. This was actually in January before the pandemic, before the Rona. Why are you dancing, man? <laughs> Actually, this was happening right around the same time that it was just starting to come out and, and I guess it wasn't a thing here. Or that's what they were saying to us. But anyways, this is in January. It was a great time. But let's, what we do a lot of times is we learn about it, more about it after we've already been there. We go out, we have our adventures. Sometimes we learn about it before. Sometimes we learn about it after. This time we learn more about it after. So guess what happened with kind of work? You don't know? Well, let me tell you, son. What we did is we looked this up on travelersofcharleston.com. And they do a little blog post with videos and everything. We like to look at those when we're after we do an event here in Charleston because they've got pretty good stuff and I like it. I like it. Let's go ahead and look and see what they have to say about Waterfront Park, Pineapple Park. So, do you know how big is Pineapple Park? Wrong answer. No, no, what? <laughs> 12 acres. 
12 acres. 12 acres. That's how big it is. 12 acres. And how much coastline does it take up? You know, because you looked this one up. How long of much of the coastline? Half. Half. Half a mile. <laughs> there we go. Got it all on your own there. Are you ready to hear a story? It's going to change your life. No, it's not. Okay, this is, this is serious, man. Listen, not, listen, to the story, not, listen to the story of Waterfront Pineapple Pen Park. So Waterfront Park actually received the 2007 Landmark Award from the American Society of Landscape Architects. That means that they made an amazing park that was really coolly architected. No, it was really good architecture, and it is an amazing park, so they made a good park. Mayor Joseph P. Riley Jr., Means his dad Bam. was named Joseph P. Riley, also, Bam. just in case you didn't know that. Why? I didn't know. Because when you're a junior, that means that you're named after your father. So if your name was Khalil, then you'd be Khalil Jr. <laughs> <laughs> name my junior? Yeah, that means his dad was Neymar. That's on your shirt. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. All right, let's get back. Let's focus, man. Let's focus on the story, the story at hand. Mayor Joseph P. Riley began making plans for this park soon after taking office in 1975, and they acquired the land in 1978. And after more than a decade, which is 10 years of planning, they broke ground in 1988. Yeah, and then they kept working on it through 1989, and the target opening date was set for May 4th, 1990. But guess what happened? In September of 1989, Hurricane Hugo came in. And what cost they, one what they, what they, million dollars worth of damage to the park that wasn't even finished. So they've been planning this thing out for like 10 years. They've been working on it for two years. And they have a date set and they're ready to go. And all of a sudden, Hugo comes in and just smashes it down. Causes a million dollars worth of damage. But guess what? They opened only one week late. Let that be a lesson to you, son. Just because, especially in the times of this pandemic, you know, you can really take from this. Because look, you know, there's a lot of kids out there that have plans of graduating college right now, walking down, you know, the, the commencement path and doing all these things and, and all of a sudden, Rona comes in. Pandemic comes in, you know? And it throws off your plans. You had no idea it was just come, gonna come and just, just wreck, wreck your world, you know, causing whatever amount of damage to your life. But guess what? You can be like Waterfront Park. You can be like Pineapple Park, and you can just get take a little setback, take a little stumble, take a little stumble, and still finish even stronger and get awards afterwards. They got they they finished shortly after and got awards. Let that be a lesson, you know. During these crazy times, be like Waterfront Park, be like Pineapple Park. Okay, when Hugo hits you in the face, when Rona hits you in the face, you just keep on trucking, and you have your final date, your end date in mind and you finish that race anyways thank you guys for hanging out make sure to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell share do all those things and we will see you guys next time on our next adventure thank you guys for hanging out for vida and peace